Hello everyone, welcome back to Bertie App Studio and today we are going to discuss how we can integrate Start IO Ads SDK in any of our Android project. So without wasting any time, let's do it. Okay, here is the official guide to Start IO Ads SDK and you can see it is available on all major platforms which is Android, iOS, Unity and Flutter. I recommend you to go through this guide for better understanding of the ads SDK and for current project we are going to integrate their interstitial banner and rewarded video ad. So let's see how we can integrate this format into our current project. Here is our Android Studio Skeleton project which contains two activity. First one is the main activity and second one is second activity. Before start integrating the ads format you have to make sure few things. First of all, you have to go to your app level build gradle file and add this dependency right here. Other than that, this trap is optional and I want to use the view binding. That's why I already enable the view binding in gradle, build gradle. The next step is you have to go to your manifest file and make sure you have these permissions. Other than that, you have to initialize the ads SDK using this metadata right here and you will get your start app app id from your start app account now let's integrate their banner ad first of all we have to set up our project layout file for my main activity i want an banner ad at the top and then two buttons one button is for show the interstitial ads and the second one is for rewarded ad so for the banner ad we have to add the banner view which is this one for project width we have to set it to 0 dp as i am using the constraint layout as root and then for the height is wrap content let's just uh, make the constraints real quick right here left to the left and for the top constraint i want it to top to the parent give our view an id uh, we have give it main banner view sorry remove the closing tag and now i want two buttons here below this match the constraints which is zero to here zero to here Match the constraints all to zero to here, zero to here. Match the top constraint, top and top to the bottom of button one. Now let's give them IDs main, btn one, and we can say show interstitial, and here the text is show rewarded sorry video and the id would be like main btn2 i have to change the id right here also okay that's it our layout file is complete now let's set up the things in our main activity file first of all i have to enable the test ads as i am using the app in debug mode so we have to enable the test ads okay go to private function enable test ads pass it a flag type boolean and boom sorry b capital so here just write start app svk dot enable test ads and pass your flag to this Reformat the code and call this function in your activity on create. As I am using the app in debug mode, so I am passing flag as true to enable the test ads. Now let's load our banner ad. Private fun load banner ad, and here you have to simply write binding to assess your view by id and load ad that's it call it below this function the next step is show interstitial button so what i want when user click on show interstitial button it moves to the second activity which is right here 
and show an interstitial ad before moving or while moving to that particular activity. For that, I want here private fun show interstitial ad, and for that, I would like to have a start activity which would like to take intent and in the intent we need to pass context and the activity we want to load up which is second activity java class and below this we can call this function start add Okay, when you call start app add, it means you are actually referring to an interstitial add which is placed inside the SDK and you are assessing as, assessing it through a static function. So right here, we can say show add and pass your context to this. Okay, set your button click listeners set on click listener and here you can say just call up this function show interstitial ad which will load up the second activity and show an interstitial ad also now we have to set up our rewarded video ad for this let's create a function of name video actually show video ad in this create a variable of name video ad which is going to be a start app ad pass it your activity context let's set the video listener first so we can know when our rewarded ad is actually completed or the video content in the rewarded ad is completed and we can give any reward or any particular reward to our user video listener implement this interface override the methods and this video listener is completed and now we have to call load add function to load up the ad i am using the one with the ad event listener you can use the simple one also here i have to pass the add mode add mode of type rewarded video and in the event listener you have to pass and implement the add event listener okay what does these listeners do actually when we click on second button which is show rewarded ad and rewarded our ad will load up and show this function is called when video is completed video is completed and here in our add event listener we actually override two methods on receive add and on fail to receive add on fail to receive add actually call when add is not ready or when you send when the SDK send request to main database or main server and it will not get it any add due to any network issue or other issues I double S U E S other issues add failed and here this function is called when add is ready here I want to show the add show add this is it our rewarded video configuration is also completed now let's set the button click listener main btn2 load set on click listener show video add our setup is complete for all three ad formats which are banner interstitial and rewarded ad now before running our app let's just do one more thing go to your second activity layout file and here just place a text text view in the center right here match the constraints and change the text to this is second activity okay in this way we can actually identify when this activity starts mm, now just 
we have to run our app and see if things are working here it is our app is running and as you can see there is a blue screen the app uh, our app is actually showing this is in fact a splash screen ad offered by start io ads and i don't want this for current project so i will tell you how you can disable it if you want to show this ad in your project you can left it enable and this is enabled by default so here as you can see we have our banner ad at the top and let's uh, now we have to click on show interstitial button here when we click on show interstitial button you can see we have full screen ad close this and uh, our activity is started but somehow the text is not showing due to its color and here is the show rewarded video ad click on that button it takes few seconds because we are loading the ad in the meantime and here it is we have an ad of 23 seconds due to this we are using rewarded video ad and let's wait for 23 seconds meanwhile let's check why the text is doesn't didn't show okay we have to set this to zero and just margin a lot of margin man. okay and height is wrap content set the text alignment to center okay now just run our app again close this ad it should show splash screen ad again this is the splash ad which show every time you run our app okay click on show interstitial button skip ad in six five seconds okay here you can see this is second activity activity started uh, after interstitial ad is completed now let's just set two two more for, uh, things uh, the first one is we have to disable the splash ads and second one is about the interstitial auto interstitial ads offered by the start io ads to disable the splash ads you just simply go here in your unable test ads function and write start app add dot disable splash and one more thing start app add dot disable auto interstitial this will disable the blue screen ad uh, which you every time when you uh, when you run your app and disable auto interstitial mean the app will the svk will not automatically show the interstitial ad while you are you are changing activities in your app or you are uh, changing uh, going from one screen to another there is uh, full detail about this in the uh, official guide offered by the start io ads uh, you can go through it and you will find the link uh, below in the description also i will also share the repository link for this current project so you can go through the things whenever you want it is available publicly i will share the link in the description to uh, official guide of start ads and also the git repository of current project now just run our app one more time as we have changed these uh, parameters okay let's see if the splash ads are disabled or not as you can see we didn't get any blue screen ad or any ad at the startup of the app also to learn more about these you can go through the official guides and disable auto interstitial mean no ad will be shown when you going from one from one activity to another uh, I disabled the auto interstitial ad because I already implemented an interstitial on a button right here which is on this uh, show on this button show interstitial button that's all for this video I hope you like it if you have any other queries let me know in comment section also we really need your support please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to official liberty app studio youtube channel thank you so much see you in next video